Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. In this video, I want us to have a look at a tweet by Mutaingunyi. A tweet that is going to form the basis of our analysis and discussion in this video right now. In case you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Mutai Mbunyi. For the ninth time, power is not given. It is taken. Read the Bible. Yes. Mutai Mbunyi is repeating for the ninth time that power is not given. It's taken. Yes. What does that mean politically? In the context of what is currently happening in Kenya. Let's dig deep into that. Mutai Nguni believes that William Ruto never won the election. William Ruto grabbed power. William Ruto took power. That's what I'm making of that tweet by Mutai Nguni. And that is so because Mutai Nguni is a close associate to President Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Mulu Odinga. That's one thing I'm seeing here. He is insinuating William Ruto was not voted in as the president, but he grabbed that power. From that tweet again, Mutai Nguni is indirectly imploring upon Raila Odinga to grab that power. And how now can Raila grab that power? Let's dig deep and see. As it is right now, Chebukati has declared William Ruto president-elect. And the only way that can be overturned as of now legally is by Raila Odinga and his team proceeding to the Supreme Court. Thus, in my honest opinion, the only legal avenue that Raila can overturn that declaration by Wafula Chibukati. In the event Raila fails to proceed to the Supreme Court, then it means William Ruto will be sworn in as the president. So William Ruto shall have successfully grabbed that power. Yes. But if Raila proceeds to the Supreme Court, then that power can be snatched away from William Ruto by the virtue that the Supreme Court can nullify William Ruto's election. Upon the Supreme Court nullifying William Ruto's election, anything can happen in between. Anything can happen because it's coming out clearly that the biggest obstacle to a Raila presidency is not even IBC as a commission, but Wafula Chebukati. That's the biggest obstacle to a Raila presidency. So after maybe the Supreme Court annul annulling William Ruto's election, something can happen. Something can happen that can enable Raila Odinga grab that power. First of all, Chebukati can be removed as IEBC chair. He can be removed. Secondly, Raila can go to the election and he, he can end up winning that election. These are all possibilities. And I'm not ruling any out. So the best option for Raila to grab power legally is to proceed to the Supreme Court of Kenya. Let him have the best lawyers to defend his case. Most likely, he can get a favorable hearing at the Supreme Court of Kenya. Because from where I sit, it's almost very certain and clear that what happened at Bomas of Kenya was just a drama. It's clear this election was rigged. And I'm saying that based on even the turnout alone we saw on the mountain. Turnout being inflated from less than 50%. 
to about 70 percent. Eh? That's something that is serious, ladies and gentlemen. And if Raila can just have the best team that can explain that, most definitely William Ruto's election will be nullified. And ladies and gentlemen, if you look at it again from another angle, if Wafula Chebukati is the biggest obstacle to a Raila presidency, if indeed he is the, obi the biggest obstacle, and from the look of things he might be the biggest obstacle to a Raila presidency. So for Raila to grab that power, Raila must make sure Chebukati is nowhere <laughs> near IEBC. Yes. And Raila can just grab that power. And again, if you look at it from another angle, I honestly believe that Raila, if you look the way Raila plays his politics, Raila is too much diplomatic. He's too much diplomatic. And from what we have seen in Kenya, especially in Kenyan election, it, demand, it demands some kind of dirty play. That's what I'm seeing here. And that's why sometimes I might be tempted to agree <laughs> with Olekin and even Babu Wino who are calling upon the president to crack the whip. That's still a valid option in my honest opinion. The president still has the power to crack the whip. The president still has the power to thwart an illegality. And when I talk about an illegality, it's almost certain and clear that most likely Wafula Chibukati declaring William Ruto as the president-elect might have not been constitutional. There might have been some shortcuts applied. So I believe the president, by the virtue that he's still the president, the virtue that he still has the sword, he can still turn things around. And that's why I still maintain, and I send my appeal to our beloved president, Uhuru Kenyatta. It's not too late. Please crack the whip. And when I tell the president to crack the whip, I'm trying to mean, or rather I'm trying to say, because there have also been some rumors that the president has betrayed Raila Odinga. The president has abandoned Raila Odinga. And as just some few hours ago, Oscar Suri took to his social media accounts and alleged <laughs> that the president betrayed Raila Odinga. And the same Oscar Suri at the same time insinuated that the president attempted to bribe Wafula Chibukati to rig in favor of Raila Odinga. And from the message by Oscar Sudi, Oscar Sudi was just confirming that the president was firmly behind Raila Odinga. And that's largely what I've been maintaining, that the president is fully behind Raila Odinga. And he's still not let, ladies and gentlemen, the president can still crack the whip. So it's not over. Raila Odinga should proceed to the Supreme Court because that's the only way it can even be easy for the president to crack that whip. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. But before I stop, in case you are watching us for the very first time, but so far you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. To any other person watching us for the very first time, that's the kind of analysis we do here. We don't beat about the bush. We go straight and to the point. We call it as it is without fear or favor. So if in case you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. And to any other person watching us outside Kenya for the very first time, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. 
And if possible again, subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya.